Hello everyone, welcome once again and this is Programming World and in this video I'm gonna show you that how can you open another activity using intent class in the Android, okay? So right now we are having one activity, this is our main activity and now what I want that I am gonna give here a button and when the user will hit that button on the activity a new activity should open and how the new activity is gonna be opening we are gonna see that okay so just keep in mind for now that we are going to use the intent class for that and I will show you shortly how can you do that so let's get started first of all we have one activity and of course we're gonna be having and we are gonna be needing another activity so in Android creating another activity and setting its path and then using that path to get to it is quite difficult but it is not that difficult uh, you can if you you know follow my steps then you're gonna be considering it easy it's pretty easy for you if you know the all the steps all right so let's get started first of all you you are required to go here and make sure that you have selected Android from here and then you're gonna be going here res okay res folder and open it and just simply go to the layout open it up and you can see that you have the main activity that is currently this activity of course I'm not having any other activity uh, despite of this okay so now I will right click on the layout and I'll go to the new and in here I'll come to the activity and of course I'm gonna be uh, creating a new activity so I will come here and I will select this empty activity all right so click on the empty activity and you can name it whatever you want I will go with the same name main to activity okay so package name is not set to a valid package name all right so okay this is the layout package and okay so I'll change the name okay uh, new activity and it's giving me some error on the package name is not set to a valid package name I, I, I'll see that and I'll get back to you so that problem may have occurred because I have click, clicked on this layout so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cross it and uh, th this is a fix maybe may, maybe it works or maybe it's not but uh, I'm just gonna you know right click on res folder now new come to the activity then going for the empty activity and you can see that it no longer shows that error because because of the path Android shows the, uh, showed that error because I clicked on the layout and that was not actually giving it the right path the exact path when you click on the res folder however it will give you the correct path and now I will you know just keep that name main to activity I'm just gonna finish that and now for me it will create a new activity right here okay so now uh, I'm gonna go here into the Android manifest.xml which is right here the Android manifest from here okay if you don't have it you can get it from here and in here you can see that uh, the main activity is here and it has the intent filter for that but if you see here the activity the Android name is equal to dot main to activity it is not having the intent filter right so what I'm gonna do that I am going to copy this intent filter from the first or from the main activity and I am going to paste it inside the second new activity that I created okay so control V and in here we have the intent filter right 
so the thing is that android.intent.category.launcher because this activity the second activity that we created is not the part of the launching activity because it is not going to be launched however we we can only have one launching activity so maybe when you run your program it may give you an error or it may run both of activities i don't know what the error is it's gonna give you but the thing is that it is a must that it's gonna uh, you know it is violating that programming terms okay so you can only have one launcher and that is this activity main activity right so what i'm gonna do i i am going to write here default all right yes this is a default uh category for me and another thing that of course that action if you if you have taken the php classes then you you must have known that this action is basically the path and whatever uh, action this activity is going to perform that it's it's going to go to the path of the main to activity so i need the path of the main to activity right here so for that what i am gonna do that i'm gonna jump to the activity main to dot xml file and i'm gonna go to the text and from here right here the context this is the path of the main to activity the second activity and i'm just going to copy it and then i'll come back to android manifest.xml file and in spite of this path the this path represents the main path main activity path remember that so what i need to do that i need to change this path to the second activity right because this is the intent filter for the second activity so now we are pretty much done here we have done these changes we have created the intent filter successfully we have given the path to the second activity and we also defined the category of this android uh, activity the second activity okay so the next step that you're gonna take that you're going to go to your main activity and now i want to open the second activity via a button okay so what i am gonna do that i am going to drag a button here open new uh activity that sounds you know uh, a big name but it's all right so the next thing that i am going to do that i am going to the activity main dot xml uh, not here but I'm going to the main activity under the Java folder and inside here I am going to create a button uh, a button object or button variable here and that would be private and I will define it as private static button of uh, button type button btn uh, let's say new this is just a variable of a button type okay so and I am gonna use that button uh, type here in my function my new function that I will create okay so it is you know kind of uh, red because I have not imported uh, the button type so what I am gonna do okay I will resolve that later however so I will create a new function here that would be of type public void on click button listener because this is a button listener you can name it whatever you want on click button uh, listener all right and that is a void so that means that it's gonna be empty and inside of that what I am gonna do that I am going to use that button variable button new and I'm gonna put it equal to the current button that we have right here uh, here yes this one so if you see the ID of that button is B U W T O N so I'm gonna get that ID by this name so what I'm gonna write here I'm gonna write inside of here button so this is a kind of typecasting here okay and right after that what I am gonna do that I'm gonna write here find view by ID and the ID we know that is button 
so put a semicolon and after that what you're gonna do that you are going to have a set on click listener button new dot set on click listener click listener and you're gonna have this hit enter Side of that I need to write new on click listener and it will generate uh, this thing for me and right inside of that the on click view on click method I need to define the intent method or intent class this is the intent class intent and now I'm gonna give it a variable name and that is in and new intent okay and inside of that I'm gonna give the path of uh, my second activity right expected resource type to be more to be one of ID ID more okay all right so what what I'm gonna do here that I'm just going to go here and I'm going to change the name of the ID so it may work okay so I will give it a name like uh, new BTM right so I'll just copy it and I'll go to the main activity and I just paste it right here like this yes I forgot I forgot to write here r dot id dot thing so I'm sorry pardon me for that because I'm just working with Android after uh, you know after a while so now inside of that what the intent class I am gonna go with the path of the Android activity the second activity is path and I'm just gonna copy it and now I will come here into the main activity and inside of that I am going to paste the path for the second activity and uh, after that I just I need to write one line and that is start activity or uh, start activity yes and inside of that I'm just gonna be passing this that intent variable so now my program is ready to run but just before that I need to pass this function from the on create method which is the main method for our activity right so now we are all done oops I need to just remove that so just uh, remember that you just need to pa pass the name of the function only this part okay all right so it is showing this red uh, sign here so that means that we are having a little error here and that is here that I need to put a semicolon here and when I put that semicolon uh, we are all done and now we can run our app so I will run my app and I will wait uh, until it gives me the output okay so now here our program is sound and it's running so now we're gonna test it so we'll see that if it works or not so we'll click on the open new activity and when we hit that you can see that a uh, second activity is open for us and our second activity you can see here uh, if we go here on the main activity uh, this is the activity main dot XML and if we go our activity main to application you can see that this is empty and my application is the title that is written over there so I'll go to the design so that you can see more clearly and this is the second activity that we wanted to open all right so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed today's video please read comment subscribe and bye for now